Welcome back, everybody. We're here to pull cards for June the 5th. I do want to apologize. I missed June the 4th. I am so sorry, y'all. I thought I had a video already up for June the 4th, and um, obviously that was not the case. So we are going to go ahead and just start with June the 5th because it's too late to make up for that at this point. So let's look at our overall energy. Comes up as the world in reverse. So world in reverse um, can mean that we are realizing that something that we were shooting for is not actually ideal. Or it can mean that... Um, we're trying to complete some kind of cycle and we've run into a little bit of resistance in being able to complete that. So we're going to look at how this is going to play out for the different signs. Okay. So Aries, what we have showing up for you guys is the Empress card. Empress is just telling me that you are creating those things that you want to create. And Aries, I think there's something that you're wanting to complete, but I think what's going on is you're creating some new good stuff right now. And so um, most of your energy is going to this new good stuff that you're creating. And so this has kind of hit the back burner a little bit as far as completing this other cycle that you have been working on. So I feel like maybe you're a little bit distracted by the new good stuff you're creating. Um, but that doesn't mean that you won't get back to this and finish this up when you get a chance. Next up, let's look at Taurus. Woohoo, Taurus, you guys have the lovers. What I'm feeling like for you guys is that, um, well, first let's just say the lovers talks about partnership, okay? It can be romantic partnership, but it doesn't have to be romantic. It can be a business partnership, a really solid friendship. But somebody that, you know, you do things together with and that um, things typically, you know, you guys are generally on the same page. With this world card in reverse, this is telling me that you guys might be realizing that something that you've been shooting for is not exactly your ideal. And it may be time to sort of recalibrate what is the goal actually here for um, you and whoever your partner is. Okay, next up, let's look at Gemini. Okay, so Geminis, you guys have the Justice card showing up here. This is just telling me that um, ba -bam -bam, there's something going on where you are having to bring justice to a situation. Um, sometimes this is actually ending a situation. Sometimes this card can come up as divorce. Um, doesn't have to be that, though. It can be a legal situation, but once again, does not have to be that. It is bringing justice to some type of situation, though. And I think what's going on is that you're feeling like you need to bring justice to a situation, and you are doing that. But I think that you're also realizing that this was not the outcome that you were shooting for originally. This is less than ideal, wherever it is that you have to bring justice in. And this is this does imply legal action or some type of action where there's a third party involved to help actually create the justice in the situation. All right. So let's see. That was Gemini. Next up, let's look at Cancer. Ace of Pentacles in reverse, Cancers. I think that you are giving some type of gift. And I think the reason you're giving some kind of gift has to do with our overall energy that you've got somebody in your sphere of influence who um, their situation is less than ideal and you're giving them some kind of gift in hopes that that will help them get closer to whatever that ideal might be. Okay, next up, let's look at Leo. Seven of Cups for Leos. Lots of options in front of you, Leos, about ways that you can move forward and improve your world. I think right now, with this energy coming in for your overall, it looks to me like you've got lots of options. You've got lots of things that you could do to move forward and improve your world, but none of them is exactly ideal just yet. 
some of these options, if you would move forward with them, you would have to tweak them or adjust them to make them actually fit the ideal for you. And you may be looking at, you know, what can I tweak and adjust so that I can reach my ideal with any one of these options. Okay, so that's for Leo. Next up, we're looking at Virgo. Virgo, King of Pentacles, showing up in reverse. King of Pentacles in reverse. I do think that there is, with this overall energy, some type of goal or target that you're reaching for. And Virgos, with this King of Pentacles in reverse, I think that right now money is the issue that keeps you from actually getting there. So with this coming up, this just talks about the idea that um, you know, you've got a cash flow situation. Basically, it's time to amp up the cash flow so that you can actually complete whatever this is that you've started working on. Okay. Um, let's see. That was Virgo. Okay. Next up is Libra. Libra is showing up with the Hierophant. This is some type of long-term contract or commitment. And with this overall energy in the world, I think you're realizing that even though you have the opportunity to take up this long-term contract or commitment, you're realizing that it is close to what you want. It is close to your ideal, but no cigar, not exactly. And so I think whatever this contract or commitment is, I think you're going to be turning it down and, look, and looking for something that is closer to the ideal. If you're in this contract or commitment already, then I think what you're going to be doing is you're going to be looking at how can I how can I make this situation into something that is more ideal than what it is right now. Okay, so that was Libra. Next up, let's look at Scorpio. So Scorpio's Five of Pentacles. Five of Pentacles does talk about the idea that there's some kind of tightness happening with the budget and with this world card in reverse. This is just telling me that the tightness in the budget is keeping us for, from completing something that we really are wanting to complete and take care of. So once again, cash flow situation. Somebody else had that earlier. I don't remember who, but we need to step up our cash flow to be able to reach our goals. Um, so that was Scorpio, oh, Scorpio, oh. Sagittarius. Two of Pentacles showing up in reverse for Sagittarius. Two of Pentacles in reverse just means, um, and especially with this world card in reverse as the overall energy, Two of Pentacles in reverse just means that you're really, you're, you've are you really got your itinerary booked up today and you're having a hard time actually covering everything that you want to cover, getting everything taken care of, getting everything accomplished. Sometimes the Two of Pentacles is money and it's not having enough to rob Peter to pay Paul. Um, so this could be a financial situation, but I feel like for most of you, this is more about just not having enough time, energy, something to do everything that you have on your plans to get accomplished. So with this world card in reverse, this is telling me that, you know, this is less than your ideal situation. So ideally, you would be able to do everything that you want to do and have it all done and it would all be fine. Uh, we just don't see that happening today. Okay, next up we have Capricorn. Capricorn, Eight of Swords. So Capricorns, this is just telling me that you are really kind of all up in your head about something today. And it has to do with this idea that something that you thought was ideal, you're realizing now that it was not ideal. And so now you're sort of thinking in circles about what can I do to improve this situation to get closer to the ideal that I actually want. Next up, we're looking at Aquarius. So Aquarius, you guys have the tower showing up here and the world coming up in reverse. Uh, tower situation really kind of happens because the goal or target that we're trying to reach is not actually ideal. Um, so when a tower shows up, it just means that we have a situation that brings us some sense of security that is now having a major shakeup. And the reason it's having a major shakeup is because it was not ever built on a firm foundation. And so now 
um, you've been sort of going stagnant in that you don't have the opportunity to move or to expand in that secure situation. And so spirit just basically shakes it all up and rattles it around and, and we look and see where all the pieces fall because spirit wants you to start looking for, okay, where can I grow? Where can I expand? You know, you kind of had the velvet handcuffs off with, on with this tower. It felt secure, it felt safe, so it kind of kept you demotivated from looking for where you could grow and expand. So this shakeup is just motivating you to get out there, grow, expand, do something better and bigger than what you were doing before. We like it. We like it, actually. I mean, it doesn't feel good. Kind of takes your breath away, knocks your feet out from underneath of you. But long-term reality is good because you end up actually thriving. Not just surviving, but thriving once you get to the other side of this. All right, so let's look at, that was who? That was Aquarius. So next up, let's look at Pisces. Okay, Pisces, with the Eight of Pentacles showing up here, this is just telling me that you are doing some type of work today. Um, it could be a creative project. It could be actually on the clock for somebody. It could be some type of work that you're doing around your own home or for yourself. And I think that when you get done, you're realizing with this world card in reverse, you thought you were doing the exact ideal perfect thing. And then you're realizing, oh, it wasn't exactly perfect. I feel like there's something you have to go back and adjust or tweak or for some of you maybe even redo although for most of you I just think it's more of a of, a, of an adjustment all right so that's what we've got for the day thank you all very much for hanging out with me I do appreciate it and I look forward to seeing you guys on the next video if I don't see you for a reading or a Reiki session between now and then peace out